Okay, so I got my first question. This is from Christy Getz. I hope I'm saying that right. It reads, I have chronic illnesses, plural. My question is, how did you begin? My problem is getting up and starting. With all the fatigue and pain I've had, it is hard to just get up and go for a walk. With me, it's more fatigue than anything else, so then I drink coffee during it. I uh, caffeine during the day and eat sugar. So, Christy, the way I started was just by walking. I took baby steps. I didn't just jump right into it. So, I mean, no disrespect to anybody that ever does. That's just was my method for doing it. I started walking. I started listening to my portions. I started just basically doing what I can do until I got used to it. And that took eight months. It didn't just take, you know, a week or two. It took eight months to get used to it. That was eight months of going at least one walk a week, up to four walks a week. And I went around this road called the Ring Road, but it's just like a big track. It's about the size of it. It was like twice the size of a high school track or football field. So I'd walk around that two or three times and then go home, and it took me about a half an hour to do so. But I did that anywhere from once a week to three times a week. And I did that for eight months, as well as lessening my portions. I didn't exactly eat healthy, but I just eight smaller bowls, smaller plates, about five, six times a day. And I lost 40 pounds just doing that. I understand with the chronic illness part of it, you have to just try. I know it's kind of hard when you have chronic fatigue because I've lived with chronic fatigue for like at least five, six years now. And I've lived with the chronic illnesses I've had, including IBS since like 1999. But I wasn't diagnosed until 2009. That's basically how I began, and that's how I think everybody with a chronic illness should begin if they want to, you know, be healthy. You just got to do what you can. I know some chronic illnesses are worse than others, so you just got to try. As for the fatigue part, I mean, you could use a pre-workout, but I'd only take a half a scoop or a fourth of a scoop, not a whole scoop because you're not doing something really vigorous to help you get, you know, a little bit of energy. You can use caffeine, but use, like, natural caffeine, like green tea or caffeine. I mean, uh, green tea or coffee. Uh, when you have coffee, try to have it either black or you can have it with stevia and almond milk or stevia and fat free milk, uh, creamer. You can use that for, for some energy or you can use fruit. Banana gives you a lot of energy, believe it or not. Let me think. I can't think of anything else on the top of my head, but there's a lot, actually a lot of healthy ways to get energy. And, but I know that's difficult to, to do when you have chronic fatigue. Cause sometimes when, when you take energy pre-workout or eat food, drink something that has a lot of, get, that can give you energy, it still doesn't really do too good. So the only thing you can do is try. And that's all I did was try. And trust me, it was hard. And it, six years later, it's still hard for me. I, but the thing is with me, with working out now, it's now like an antidepressant. So if I don't work out, I go like three, more than three days without working out, I get really, <laughs> really upset because I'm so into working out. now. Yeah, I believe, I hope I answered your question. Christy, if you have want to ask more, go ahead and ask me on Facebook. If anybody else has anything they want to say, whether you're on Facebook with me, YouTube, Twitter, or Instagram, go ahead and ask me. Or Tumblr, too. I didn't think I said Tumblr, did I? I don't know. Until the next video, love, peace, chicken, grease. See you later.